got this little piece place in the place place in the rock universal fitness so try it out see how it and now we're we'll going to get into uh, different gear so I'm hoping it will work uh, oh we got a plate cylinder on the G35 we'll find out right now it's the one I need to call and check as you guys see little stainless seems like I can't remember, it's a seven inches long. It's longer than stock for sure. And it's thicker too. Let me check out the car. So I just make sure it's the, the measurement on the push rod. The slits in there that I got to lay too long, so I had to cut it like this much out. So, here we end up. As you gotta look at the this is the old piece that I took out from the stock slave cylinder from G35, and this is the new one. You can see it's a different thing. Also, I was still able to adjust whenever I want to make it longer on this thread inside by, you know, unbolt the nut here to loosen up the thread. I still have probably like a long thread. And then I have the inside here to be adjustable whenever I need it to. But yeah, this is basically, that's all you kind of need. And then you go ahead and, um, Put the rubber boot from the stock slave cylinder back on the new to the new one. And before you install it, put it into the slave. How about do that right now? Me, I personally like to add a little, you know, some type of lubricant. But I use just use this uh, Pneumatix anti-seize lubricant. You know wipe it on here just a little bit not too much though just a little bit so when you put it you know it press again to the slave cylinder is gonna go in and out in and out and press again this little piece you want to have a little lubricant so it won't eat up the aluminum of that slave cylinder but yeah it's pretty simple man just I to some of those you guys that might not know where the slave cylinder is it's close to the transmission underneath the transmission on the kind of like towards the left side on the driver side so you look the bottom of it you see it have two bolts to loosen up you have to loosen up so you could put those adjustable piece that I just meant I just showed you guys and then just pretty much after you put it in there, just bolt it back on how you took that out in the first place. And don't go tighten it, just just enough. Because it's aluminum transmission is it's aluminum so you don't you don't wanna over tighten the thread. It might eat up the you know the whole thread. Just enough to for it to stay snug. And yeah, that was perfect in there. Before it used to be layer loose, now it's snug. I'm gonna go up there and try to press it. You don't have to re bleed it, to be honest. You don't have to. Just feel it and see how it ends up. And if you have bubbles in there or something like that, you might just go ahead and re-bleed real quick it won't take that long if you do you have two person to help you out one person pumping on the clutch 
and formulate probably seven, eight times, and then let person that person hold press onto the clutch and hold it, and then you come down here and just loosen up the right here the bleed well on the slave cylinder itself. Just come down there, and you see those bleed well there, small piece. You know, after you loosen up, you're gonna see the pressure of the fluid or bubble or whatever is gonna drop to the, to the ground or to the whatever you have catching it out down here. So, yeah, and then you tie it back up. You tie it back up. After you tie it back up, go ahead and tell that person in the, you know, in the car, just pressing the same thing, maybe like another eight times or so, and then that, tell that person to hold again, press it and hold it. But you loosen up again, if there is bubble, you're gonna see it and let the fluid just kind of drain out. Well, that person holding in the clutch, and then you tie it back up and do the same thing for a few times or so. After that, you're gonna have, just tie everything back up, you all set. Your clutch can be solid. It's hot.
said, fam. I think I just got it fixed. This thing's running smooth now. It's shipping to any group, no problem.
try to get this shit done, man. I mean, nothing yet.